Okay, you guys, so today I'm going to show you how we can use our value scale to add lighting and shading to objects. So we're if you look at my screen right now, this is just a red pepper. Um, and I used a photo reference to make this red pepper. I'm using canvas.apps.chrome. Um, just because it's it's really simple and it has a really um, established like palette in those value scales that we've been talking about. So you can see that I use the like red value scale as well as the green value scale that's already been created. Um, and just like we talked about in class, once you have a color selected, if you click on custom, then you can choose either lighter or darker at a diagonal um, of where this circle is located, right? This is the color that's here. This is the color that's like on the screen, but I can go a little bit lighter or even lighter or like darker to add that shading. Okay, um, so if if you're going to go lighter choose the lightest color first if you're going to do go darker for shading choose the darkest color that's already preset okay so that you you just go down just a bit and this is darker otherwise it'll be a little bit difficult to kind of see where on this um this custom palette where you can select those colors. So um, I always try to, um, I like the marker um, and um, I try to drop the opacity when adding lights and shading. Um, it's not necessary. You can leave it at 100% and just kind of like follow along the base. Um, let me make this a little bit smaller so I can like follow along the base at the bottom just to show some even darker shading. So this is not, this doesn't look like realistic, right? It's not, it's not intended to look realistic. This is you practicing your value skills with a digital media. If you're using crayons or color pencils or something else, um, like oil pastels or paint, you're practicing grouping these colors together, okay? You're practicing grouping your value scales because what we need to learn now is that your, um, your shading is not always black and your highlights are not always white, right? It's whatever the object color is um, and it's lighter and darker in that color. So right now let's go ahead and find a, um, let me find a green, no, let's not do green pepper. Let's do a yellow pepper photo. Oh, you know how much I love my reference photos. Okay. So I'm going to find a good, here's one. So this is a really good reference photo. I'm going to use the same greens. And now I have this yellow pepper. Um, and I'm not going to add this gray shading that's underneath the pepper. But I am going to add this darker yellow shading that lines the base of the pepper. So the first thing I need to do is kind of figure out my shape and get back in here. Now my background is yellow, so I'm just going to change that for this so it's like blue, something easier for you to see. Go to my palette and I'll pick the medium color first. Okay, medium color first, grab my marker, turn my opacity all the way up, turn my size all the way up for my pepper. And I know that it's going to be a very similar shape, right, it go, it's curved on the side. It has like almost like an upside down heart or the letter W at the bottom. And then we'll add in these extra details at the top after I get the basic shape back into canvas. So it's curved, it goes down. I've got that W shape at the bottom and it's curved and it comes out and then I'll fill this in. Um, I cannot stand this yellow on that blue background. I'm going to have to change that because that is driving me bonkers. It's driving me bonkers. Let's go dark purple. That's way better. Okay. So we have our yellow 
base color for our pepper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make my marker smaller so I can add these like just little bumps on the top. So let's grab the size brush. Oh, that's opacity. Grab my size brush. <laughs> Dragon. Um, and it's, you know, all peppers are different. So if it doesn't look exactly like the photo, that's fine, right? It's okay. Ooh, let's add a like, ooh, I don't like that. Let's undo those. I kind of like it like that. That's perfect. All right. The So the first thing I want to add is this really light yellow highlight that goes along the side. So if you look at this photograph, it's um, I can tell that I need to change the transparency. My opacity needs to go down and I'm going to add this light yellow, like wispy edge. So let's jump back in here. Go to your palette, pick your lighter shade of yellow. Um, and let's just see what it looks like without changing it. Ooh, that's so nice. <laughs> so nice. This is where the light is shining. Oh, that's beautiful. And then I'll do this curve up here at the top. There is a curve right here at the top. Where else is it? A highlight. Ooh, right there on the top in the background. Bloop. Mm. Bloop. <laughs> little bit. And then, ooh, look at this one. It's like a square. So I'll add this like little square. Where else do you see one? Ooh, kind of like on this side, like just like this is that reflective light right underneath that curve. So I could add one like right here. That's kind of the shape. It's kind of the shape. And there's even one down here at the bottom. So, you know, I didn't change my opacity yet, right? I didn't change my opacity yet. So this is where that comes in. I'm same color, right? I'm going to change the opacity to like 15, right? So you can't, you can barely see it. And now when I add this color, you can see it kind of makes like a glow. Do you see the difference? This is why that opacity is so important, right? It's so important. So I, I've added a few layers every time I go to the top, I lift up my finger. And every time I go to the bottom, I lift up my finger. So you can see it just takes a couple of times to get there. So let's do these markings again. And that's what the beauty of digital artwork is, right? I can go through this quickly with the color and just see what it looks like. And then I can come back through and change opacity and try again. So this is that 15. Oops, I went on the outside. That's okay. Two, three, four, five six look at that beautiful highlight now right and i remember there was the same kind of one down here it's kind of like the number seven so i'm just gonna go number seven number seven and then you can even come around the edges right and i can do this bottom part it's just like a little loop just to help show that it had um this roundness to it all right so i'm going to do the curve at the top next Here's the curve at the top, two, three, four, and I'm not tracing over the same spot. You can see that I'm like kind of being wild with my brush strokes, and that's that's perfectly fine. And then we have that little rectangle in the back. So like that's on this one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, look at that. It's already starting to glow. And then we'll do this for front curve, which is just like an upside down C curve. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. And I think, shouldn't this one have one? Let's check. Oh yeah, it's at the top though, because the green um, stem is in the way. So let's just go right here at the top. Okay, so now 
I started with the medium color, the medium yellow color that was in the middle on my canvas palette. And I added the highlights, right? We can tell that this almost looks white. I know it's not exactly white. Um, and you can double check that by like using your, um, using like a cut hole in a piece of paper and looking at the white of the background and then looking at the white on the highlight and then you'll be able to see the difference. It's really difficult to see the difference when you're looking at a white background. And then I'm going to add just the lightest shading here. And ooh, look, this is darker here too. So I'm going to add that little bit of shading first and then I'll come back in and add a brighter highlight. So let's go to that that um, darkest shade of yellow, which is like an orange, I'm still set to 15% opacity. Um, and I am going to line this base one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And look, there's like now you can start to see those shapes. So right here, there's a shape. It kind of looks like, um, I'm holding up my hand, but you can't see me right now. It looks like somebody's trying to give the P sign. Like there's one loop for a finger and a second finger. And then there's like a little thumb that comes out to the side. So it's shaped like that. So I'm going to go back in here and draw this like, so I have one, two, three, four, five. And then he's got his other finger, two, three, four, five. And then he's got that little thumb, two, three, four, five. And it's okay that I'm covering up things that I've already done, right? It's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, there's also a shadow right here on the other side of that highlight. And you can see it gets a little bit darker as it gets towards that green. So I'm just going to draw that little v shape and then really darken it up down here at the bottom oh my gosh does it look good i don't know maybe let's add a little bit of shadow just here in the corner like almost like a really light triangle so i'll go one two three okay three is good let's see if there's any more shading at the top oh yeah that one's really dark here. And then look, there's this dark shadow to help bring out this highlight and this bump on the top of the pepper. So here's what how we're going to do that. I'm just going to start with like a really light and then I'm going to change my size so that it's even smaller so I can get more of a definitive lights and shadow right there like a smaller line oh my gosh this is beautiful and yeah so like does it look realistic right now no right neither does this one and yeah i changed the opacity this one i didn't change the opacity at all i was just like let's just go this is what 100 percent looks like this is what like a little bit of changing the opacity when you're adding the definition of those lines looks like. Okay. So you can see the difference. All right. I'm going to grab the middle tone of green and turn up my opacity to hundred. Let's make it a little bigger. It looks good. And this pepper comes down and then it curves and it's cut. So let me try to think of a shape that this reminds me of. This kind of reminds you of like a rainbow that's on its side, right? It's flat, but it's curved like a rainbow or like a backwards letter C. And it comes just barely like a triangle right above the back of the pepper. So right above the back of the pepper, I'm going to draw that little triangle that comes up to the top, right? It's right here. And then it comes down into the pepper. It comes in curves down into the pepper. Okay, cool. Now I can add a little bit more off coming off to the side, right? But I want to make it smaller so that I don't cover up all of these details that I've done. So I'm going to help, help it out there. It's kind of like a little bloop, a little bloop, a little bloop, a little bloop. And then we'll just add a little bit more to the background. And now it's time to add some of that shading. So that was the medium color. We're going to add some of the darker colors 
first this time. So we can see that this part on the back is in shadow, right? And then there's a highlight. And then there's a little bit of shadow on the back. And then there's kind of like streaks on the pepper. So I can use the green for the streaks. So the streaks are like Oh, and look, it gets a little bit lighter as it goes back up to the top. Okay, so there's like that little pepper stem, adorbs, right? That's adorable. Um, let's add those highlights. I know there's a highlight right here in the front. There's a couple of these little dot highlights in the back. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Let me see if there's any oh really small ones on this side. And I know I'm moving quickly, so you guys can always pause it or slow it down. Like I know I've showed you how to do that before. And let's see this little highlight, those little highlights. And then we kind of have this streakiness. Um, and then it's brighter right at the cut. It's brighter right at the cut. So I'm just going to go. There we go. Oh, it's so cute already. I love it. I'm loving it. Okay. Let's do, let's brighten up these curves just so I can smooth this out just a bit. There we go. Is that the lightest color? It sure is. Undo. We need the medium tone. Okay. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it and I'm just going to keep going back and forth between this image and my canvas. And I'm just going to keep adding highlights and I'm going to keep adding shading um, and on the stem as well as on my pepper. Um, I am only going to use these three colors, these three colors just to make it easier for you guys. So I'm not like jumping into custom and like customizing colors. I just wanted to show you that even though like right now I could be done, right? I could turn this in, I could be done because I can see highlights and shading in the value scale of the pepper and on the stem. So even if you choose not to change your opacity, you could turn this in. You have two peppers. I have a red pepper and I have a um, yellow pepper. Like even, let's like let's just see. Let's just go like down here at the bottom. Just make this real dark here. And the only way that I made it darker, oops, I need to take my eraser to that. Right? Just add, this is at 100%. Okay. Just adding those darker lines for my pepper. For my pepper. Okay. And I could call it done. It looks enough like a pepper. Like I know it's a pepper. Right? You can even come back through with your lighter colors and add 100% just on the edges. Just like right where those like true highlights were at the beginning. Right. I know there's one like shaped like a rectangle over here because that was such a weird shape. And then I think there was like one up here. Now I'm just playing with it. Okay, I'm just going to call this done. <laughs> I like it. It looks good. Cool. Let's be done. Let's practice. All right, so your job is to create two value scale you can either choose fruit or vegetables and you have to use all three colors if you want to do it on paper you're welcome to do it on paper um but you need to find three shades of yellow or three shades of red or three shades of blue or green um with your crayons okay you're not color mixing we're not layering we just i just want you to practice using the value scale starting with the medium color first adding a highlight and a shadow. Okay, that's what we're doing. Get creative.